Police say it's still a problem in Kentucky and commonly referred to as the pop train. It's when people use food stamps to buy soda and other bulk items and then sell those items for cash. This is considered fraud in the eyes of the law. Since our report last year, police have been trying to derail the pop train. WYMT's investigative reporter Marina Combs went with detectives and has more on what she found. What we found is the pop train is still rolling along. Now, officials do point out that it has slowed since we first told you about the trend. However, hazard police say not a day goes by where you can't spot a cart full of pop rolling out of popular stores. And that's where their case begins. This is not a grocery store. It's the evidence room at the hazard police department. And they have files and files of videos, too, like this one. Some have led to arrests, others will soon. This is something new for us as far as enforcement. There was a lot of rumors floating about, well, is this illegal? Why aren't the police investigating this? And, Why? Um, because it's welfare fraud. WKYT uncovered what's commonly referred to as the pop train last year. The train starts when people on food stamps or SNAP benefits load up their buggies with pop, then take the drinks and sell them to other stores on the cheap in turn getting cash. We caught people with piles of pop one after the other in Jackson last year. And we're doing a story on people buying a lot of soda oh. and then selling it. We noticed you loaded up your truck with yeah. it. After this story, pictures flooded our newsroom and we put them on air. Due to the, uh, the publicity that's been on it already, it has slowed it down some. This from Hazard's police chief. They've received a grant from the state to combat this welfare fraud. The state used WKYT's video to help with the federal grant money. So we tagged along with Hazard detectives to see the grant in action. We well, got one down on the far end here. I'm going to oh, circle yeah, around on is. that. The crime isn't in buying bulk sodas with food stamps. It's in selling it for cash to other stores. They know that, well, if they're buying a 12-pack of Pepsi for $2.50 a 12-pack off of some guy that pulls up in a parking lot, that's shady. So these detectives wait outside stores like this Walmart for possible cases to roll out the door. Check out the two men inside the store. Police believe they are handing off an EBT card or electronic benefit transfer card. Then you see two people roll out the door, cart full of pop, and a child in each seat. Here's another caught during undercover surveillance loading up Big Red into his trunk. You know, this comes out of our tax money. It's not right. It's not fair. When people take it, you know, they go inside here and purchase whatever they want and then resell it with the intent to defraud the government. That's not right. The federal grant money Hazard is using was awarded last fall to the Cabinet for Health and Family Services. We were one of seven states to get the grant, which was $1.1 million. Hazard's police chief says catching welfare fraud is a lot like a drug investigation. It takes time to put all the pieces together to make an arrest. Miranda Combs, WKYT. We asked the Cabinet for Health and Family Services where other grant monies were sent. They did not want to comment on specifics, but say grant amounts were determined in part by evaluating the type of support needed to protect operations and what was plausible in each area.